Hi everybody, since I'm moving to Texas, to Denton, to be more precise, I decided to start, uh, you know, to try to do some uh, videos uh, in English as well. I'm a bit rusty, so please don't, don't get offended if uh, my English is not super, super good. I think that after uh, a few months, in Denton, I will uh, take back my English. It's been a while since I used to live uh, in Scotland, so now I'm just used to listen to English and not to speak it so much, so often, so frequently. But for sure, I will speak slowly, and I try. I will try to make everything that I say as understandable as possible. So why am I here in the first place? If you are looking uh, at this video because you are a you are a follower of Well Matters, you know that uh, we are ecologists, philosophers, and people who studied uh, for a long time uh, different topics uh, topics related to politics, sexuality, and um, radical ecology. So basically, we are uh, the kind of people who used to travel. Uh, a lot through Europe, getting involved in uh, many ecological projects, especially with large carnivores, but also people very much engaged with uh, social issues like um, LGBTQ uh, rights, like uh, polyamory, uh, like contraception, or for example, also sex working. So both uh, Eleonora and I Eleonora is not here, but you will see her uh, more often in the next future. Uh, Eleonora and I are um, the founder of this project called Well Matters, that basically started as a sort of reportage of our lives uh, in uh, moving through different countries in Europe, uh, Spain, Finland, uh, Sweden, uh, so not Sweden, sorry, Slovenia, Germany, Austria, etc. And the goal was to document um, what we were doing there, which were which uh, were the activities we were uh, developing. For example, reforestation, rewilding, uh, sustainable building, etc. The idea then uh, um, transformed a little bit after we achieved, uh, um, we graduated uh, at Stirling, Scotland, in environmental management conservation. After uh, after our degree, um, our degrees, basically what happened is that uh, COVID started and uh, because of COVID we were uh, forced to retreat back in, uh, in Aosta Valley on the mountains in Italy. And from there we started uh, a much more intense uh, project of um, scientific communication, philosophical communication, sensibilization, as regards, um, for example, animal ethics, animal treatments, uh, especially in farming uh, activities. So we were uh, involved uh, in many, many, on, on many levels with many issues. But then uh, I decided to, um, to start again my academic uh, course. I decided to start again my academic career, especially by contacting several universities, by deciding also to go back to study basically philosophy, especially applied philosophy or field philosophy. So what I've done was to contact uh, one particular university that is very, very cool as regards uh, environmental ethics, that is the University of Denton, Texas. And uh, thanks to the support of uh, Professor Adam Briggle, I was able to do all the process and to enter in this university. So in a matter of months, uh, I will be basically settled uh, in uh, Denton, Texas, doing the teaching assistant. And uh, maybe in the next future, probably in a matter of one year or two, I will have my own uh, class to follow entirely by my own. And I will be a teaching fellow doing my dissertation. In the past, I tried to do a PhD, but I got extremely bored uh, uh, and I didn't like it, uh, was not my environment, so I decided to change from philosophy to ecology. But now I'm back. I'm back and I want to use all the skills that I can achieve uh, during this period, this challenging but also intense period 
I have to say that I'm a bit afraid of being in the US because um, of every transformation that uh, now the country is, um, is facing, especially as regards uh, uh, civil rights. But yeah, however, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited uh, and I hope to, to be able to convert as much as possible of what I will learn both uh, in my private life uh, and in my academic life uh, into something useful on this channel. So just to be clear what we will talk about on this channel, I will try mostly, mostly to talk uh, about uh, three macro areas. One is ecology, our relationship with nature, our relationship with wild animals, our relationship with uh, plants, uh, ecosystems, uh, etc., and so on. One other aspect, will, and this part will be pretty much uh, scientific, uh, I will uh, present you um, my, my data every time, I will um, uh, link below all the papers uh, I'm using, etc., etc. But uh, um, this is just one part, it is very important, but uh, it's not the only one. This part will entangle with another related more to philosophy, especially how philosophers uh, of the past and of the present can help us to figure out better ways to live in, uh, in the Anthropocene, our current reality in the time of the precariat, in the time of uh, uh, uncertainties from uh, an economic viewpoint, from uh, a social viewpoint, from a cultural viewpoint, from an environment, environmental viewpoint. Lastly, but not less important, I will talk uh, especially a lot with Ele about uh, LGBTQ issues, I will talk about gender, I will talk uh, about uh, polyamory because uh, I'm a polyamorous person, um, I will talk about uh, sexuality and uh, how all these uh, aspects of our private lives uh, intertwine with the, the political life of the places and the communities in which we live. So this is pretty much everything. So again, I'm Nathan, this is Well Matters. If you are interested to follow what I will produce in the next uh, few months and a few years, hopefully, you can uh, subscribe to this channel, Well Matters, and uh, please leave a comment. I know that my English at the very beginning will not be super, super great. I will struggle a bit, but uh, I truly hope that step by step, uh, in a non-judgmental way, I will be capable to transmit you something because, uh, you know, I believe that uh, English is, a, is the best tool to communicate also from one culture to another, to break uh, all uh, our um, tiny bubbles. Uh, and so I don't want to be the typical Italian that will remain in his own bubble. I want to be as international as possible because I believe that all the problems that we are facing right now as a humanity are global problems that need and they then need uh, a global response. And we need to achieve it through global communication and global dialogue. So thank you very much. See you in the next video.